<sighs> hey, boo. What did you do, Malachi Crew? I figured I'd come on here and just let y'all give y'all an update of what's going on with me. What's been going on with me. Yeah, y'all see them dishes piled to the top. Life update, y'all. I'm not in my best season, y'all. I'm not. I'm not in my best season. And, like, I'm getting to the point where I don't know how to pull out of it. I'm so stressed out and depressed. Like, I'm to the point of depression. Like, I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to see nobody. I don't want to deal with anything. Like... I'm just like, I'm depressed. I'm depressed. And this is the first time that I can actually say that I know I'm depressed. Because I've never felt this feeling before. Like, I've, I've, okay, so I've felt this feeling before, but I've never been able to recognize these things the way that I'm recognizing them right now like I don't feel happy I don't feel whole um I don't even feel stressed out it's like it's a deeper feeling than stress you know what I'm saying when you're stressed out you just you know you feel overwhelmed and like it's too much going on but in depression at least where I'm sitting at it's like you don't even care you don't even care about what's going on you're just like disconnected all together you have feelings but you don't have feelings you know what i'm saying like you're 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 like it's kind of like heartbreak basically like you are you're hurting but and depression, you don't know why. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to this point, but you can't pinpoint exactly why. And this is not how I wanted to start off my 2022. Um, I'm tired, y'all. I have been eating. And I know it's depression eating. Because even though I have been trying extremely hard, like... At the beginning of this year, especially after COVID, after I had COVID, to maintain my weight, um, I started gaining it back. And I started gaining it back because I just stopped caring about what I was eating. Like, I'm feeding a feeling. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeding this feeling of depression. And not caring you know what i'm saying like i hate being depressed y'all like i don't <laughs> i don't want to do nothing i don't want to do nothing like i'm totally disconnected from society emotionally right now you know it's kind of like one of those uh, I don't know, y'all. It's so hard to explain how I'm feeling right now. But I just know I'm not in a, a healthy headspace right now. I'm not in a happy headspace right now. And I don't like to... I don't like this feeling. I don't like this feeling. Um, I know for one, I kind of got to this place from feeling stagnant. I could say that. That... that that definitely plays a part in it. Um, and like I said, I still don't know what I want to do with my life. But I have the fight in me all in all to continue to push regardless of what I decide to do. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, my kids are literally my life. They, they push me each and every day. I get up for them. I literally get up for my kids, not for myself at all. I get up for my kids. Um, 
and you know i do i have been thinking a lot like trying to figure out where why i'm depressed you know what i'm saying like where did the depression come from and i can honestly say that i have been thinking about a lot i have been thinking about the fact that my biological family is not there like literally outside of my sister and my cousin Twan if you know Twan you know Twan outside of them two for the past like two years I want to say and I do have an aunt who reaches out but like biologically, biological family wise, no one even asks about me, how I'm doing. They don't ask about my kids. It's like everyone just watch through social media. You know what I'm saying? And I, I kind of feel like this is the world that we're in because of COVID. Like it has broken a lot of families and, um, COVID has done a lot, but I also feel like it shouldn't, that shouldn't be the case. That shouldn't be the case. Um, especially for people like me, a single mom, you know, struggling, trying to maintain something. It's difficult. And when you, I don't know y'all. I just got so much going through my mind, but I'm just so numb to everything. I don't know. I just, I just, it's crazy. It's crazy the way I'm feeling. Like, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what I'm feeling or why I'm feeling that way. I just know that I am depressed. And this is the reason why I have a YouTube channel is, you know, to document life, to document my life so that I can look back. I, I keep saying it all the time, all the time. Ain't nothing better than having that video footage. You know what I'm saying? Like pictures, yeah, they cool, they good. But when you have that video footage, you get to capture, you know, beautiful moments. You get to capture, um, you know, blessed moments. You get to capture the ups, the downs, the ends, the outs. You know, everything is just so unexpected when you're recording. This is really, <laughs> this is really like, this is a mess. This is <laughs> this is a mess. I'm a mess right now. I'm a mess right now, y'all. I just met with the insurance adjuster for the shop. And I'm completely over everything. The kids are sitting down right now eating some lunch. I don't know where my day is going. I really just need to pull myself together. I need to do my hair. I need to get my nails done. And I need to get my life together. I truly do. Now, granted, I have been doing a lot, a lot of housework. Like the kids' room is has been completely redone and it's looking really beautiful there is one other thing that i have to put up before i you know record and show y'all the progress but i'm definitely satisfied as far as like housewives like everything is clean and you know every day messes occur or whatever but as far as how i want it to look to feel homely and my sacred place it is that um and so i do feel calm when i'm home i do feel more relaxed and everything and stress-free but that depression can still seep in when you don't feel like you have an out like right now i don't feel like i have an out was it an outlet? I don't know which one I'm looking for right now. An out or an outlet. Don't even ask me to 
explain it because I don't, I don't, I'm still trying to sit here and think like I'm honestly just sitting here talking to y'all because I know that there is people out there that can relate to the struggle of being a single mom, the struggle of being a black woman and, you know, always having to be strong, you know, just the struggle general. I know that there is people out there that can relate and, you know, probably later on down the road, you'll get a video of me when I'm totally turned up and excited and everything and, you know, be able to see that I did make it through. But right now, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to try to apply for some work from home jobs. If y'all live in Maryland and y'all know of any, let me know, please. Um, because that's kind of like where I'm at right now. This whole school situation for Kaylee is just all over the place. And I don't have stability at all with her going to school. So I have to rearrange some things and, you know, just like rearrange life to fit around my kids. And that is so hard for me to do on my own in a pandemic. It's so hard. Y'all don't understand how hard it is. Like, it has been a struggle for me to wake up these last couple days. I'm going to say I started noticing it like a week ago. But it has been a struggle for me to wake up. It has been a struggle for me to go to sleep. It has been a struggle. <clears throat> and it's like as the days go on I feel heavier and heavier and heavier like physically I can feel the heaviness of the depression and that's crazy but like I've always been very in tune with my body you know I don't know I just I, I need to pray over myself I need to pray I do pray over my household every day I pray for my children and you know, every day, me and my girls pray together. That's something that I do every single day. Even if I do not feel like getting out of my bed to go into Katie's room. You know, um, it has been times when I've been dog ass sick and she knew. And she'd be like, it's okay, mom. I'll just say a prayer for us. And she'll put it in her room and I'll pray in my room. But on a regular, every single day, I get up, I go into Katie's room and we say a night prayer. And I just, right now, I don't feel like that's enough. I feel like I just need to, like, you know, get down on my knees and pray, pray over myself. You know, I just, not even pray. I just need to talk. I just need to talk to God. But, like, I'm so tired. I don't even, I don't even have, like, I don't even, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I just don't even feel like I have the energy to talk. <laughs> Like, you know, but God know what I need. So, and he He has continued to hold me up. And everything will be okay. But I just definitely had to come on here and talk. And, you know, say what's going on with me. So that I can continue to document my growth. Also, I want to start doing weekly vlogs. I think that'll be much more helpful for me. Um, I just, it's so hard to like, I don't know. What do y'all want? What do y'all enjoy more? Do y'all just enjoy like the random, I post when I post vlogs and I give y'all whatever content I I'm able to get for y'all which means that I might not post at all and there might be a gap or would y'all like to get the weekly vlog so that throughout that week I could possibly get some type of footage even if it's not a four weeks rundown I could still like get some things throughout you know certain days or whatever capture what I can within a work week's time and that way you know I'll have longer footage videos and 
I'll be able to like, you know, release more detail of day to day things. What, what do y'all want? Let me know down in the comment section, weekly vlogs or, um, weekly vlogs or daily vlogs. Which one do y'all want more so that I can know in what direction, um, my channel is going or, you know, what will be watched more. Like, I would consider this a daily vlog. Y'all know what I'm saying? But if I was doing a weekly vlog, this will be captured as part of that weekly vlog along with other stuff. So, like, even though I'm about to end this video, if I do anything else throughout the day, if I was to weekly vlog, I will more than likely be getting some footage for the other stuff that I will be doing today and not just this. But y'all going to get just this because this is just like a daily vlog. You know what I'm saying? I'm journaling right now. So I would just consider this a daily vlog. So y'all let me know. But I'm about to wrap this video up. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, You know, the content, not the depression, you know, not the whole idea of the depression part. But the just have a content for me, period. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure y'all thumbs this video up in support of me coming up out of this depression. If you are depressed, just know that you are not alone and that you will get through it. Just keep pushing and I will continue to do the same. Um, and I'll see y'all in the next video. All right now. Bye.